Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'm also playing along with Scrap Timber and the theme for today was hearts. So I thought because I have quite a few hearts on this page with my embellishments that I would fit the theme for my layout today. I am using the True Prosperity sequins uh, for my layout today and last time I checked these were still available in the shop so you can go over and grab them if they're still available and uh, the first thing that you're gonna see me do here is I have my photos and I've done a whole bunch of different pictures of lots of different treats that we've had at Disney and so basically that is what we're gonna scrapbook today and I'm starting out with a piece of black cardstock and then a piece of white cardstock. That's going to be my background. And then I have taken this striped, this was an old Dear Lizzie pattern paper. I've gone ahead and cut that down probably about an eight and a half, I want to say, by 11 size. And then I had some washi that was like a film strip. And so I went ahead and backed that on some white cardstock and put that on either side of my pattern paper. Now I am just going to take all of my scraps that you see here and I'm just going to layer them up here in behind my photos. So I'm just layering up different scraps. These are all from my scrap bin um, in various sizes and I'm just going to go ahead here and uh, get these all kind of cut down and placed around my photos just making a couple of mats. I did uh, go ahead and cut um, a pink and white uh, pattern paper to make a full mat behind my photos and then the rest of it is just these scraps. So that's what you're seeing me do here. And then once I have that in place, we're going to go ahead and start to build the embellishments. There is a whole lot of embellishment on this page, a whole lot uh, going on in both of my clusters. I have two clusters. It's going to go from the top left uh, to kind of the bottom right. So I have two pretty full clusters that are going to make up uh, the embellishing for this page. And so once I get all of this down, you will see how I'm going to place my photos. They're kind of still close together. They're not quite touching, I don't think, when I finally put it together, but they're pretty close. Um, and I do angle them ever so slightly just to give a bit more interest. Off camera, I will um, pop up my photos on some fun foam to give a little bit of lift to the page. Um, but while I am showing you on camera, because I do build out my clusters and then glue everything down on off off uh, off of the video, <laughs> I've lost my words today. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, so I basically am going to show you how my clusters are going to turn out and then I'll glue all this down off camera. So here you see I have uh, some florals that are cut from a piece of pattern paper. I have these film reels that I die cut with that pink uh, pattern paper I used a scrap of to back one of my photos. And so I'm going to start by building out the cluster with uh, those pieces first. And then I have a Mickey head die that is in the shape of a cupcake. And so I went ahead and cut that in black and backed it with pink. And then I have this other sort of Mickey head uh, die that was just like a whole bunch of Mickey heads. You could use it. Um, I'm just using it as a layer in my embellishments. And so that's going to be my Mickey representing Disney on the page. So I've gone ahead and built my two clusters like I showed you. I did have a few stamped pieces, some labels and a little treats uh, circle that I did go ahead and just uh, stamp those off camera. Once I had all the embellishments in place off camera, I had forgotten to put the ca the camera back on, but I added just a few stickers from um, an old Maggie Holmes collection. I had a whole bunch of these uh, cakes and cupcakes, um, all those stickers, and so I just went ahead and filled my embellishment clusters with those stickers as well to get them used up because, of course, we're talking about sweet treats, and so... I thought they would be perfect to use up on this page. You can also see that I did off camera go ahead and put down my title. Um, it was a little fiddly to put down that um, the pink letters, which was give me all the and then treats. I had die cut that as well. 
And I'm actually using the true prosperity sequins to decorate some of the letters. And so that's where the sequins are coming into play. I'm also going to go ahead here and through the embellishment clusters, um, both the embellishment clusters, I'm just going to randomly place a whole bunch of these beautiful sparkly sequins to my embellishment clusters. It is perfect. They add the perfect finishing touch, the perfect bit of sparkle in amongst all of the um, large clusters and the very full clusters that I have on this page. I think the sequins just finish it off perfectly. And I actually like them better than enamel dots because they do add a nice little sparkle that when the light hits it, you can see those beautiful sparkles. Uh, sequins just shimmering on the page and I thought they definitely work for a Disney page for sure and I love the colors in this mix huge fan of these greens and and uh, pinks in this collection so I love the sequin mix so basically I'm just gonna finish up the page here and in keeping with scrap temper as you can see I do have hearts I <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> kind of stretching the theme and the fact that I only I didn't really like make the page a heart or anything like that I really just went with I have heart stickers so we're gonna go with it um but basically I'm gonna add just a couple more sequins to this page check out the link below I will have a link to the scrap timber uh video list as well as a link to the shop you can always use vanessa 15 and grab yourself some beautiful sequins and uh with that guys i will catch you on the next one have a great day everybody Bye bye